Welcome to a runway full of supercars. Today we are with the Petrol Hedonism Club and we are filming for television. And that is why we have gathered here today and there's one very special car about to join us. We are doing some runs up and down the runway, social distance. And right at the end is the star car that literally has only just turned up. So we're going to be capturing that, which is the Koenigsegg Regera of Zach's Garage, amongst all the other supercars and just enjoying the day while filming the television, which is the whole reason that we have gathered here. As I mentioned, this is being filmed for a television program. Most of the day will be consisted of drag races, and as you can probably see behind me, we're lining up the Koenigsegg Regera with like a supercharged Lamborghini Huracan. I think the Huracan's had him. The Huracan's ahead. The Huracan won that race, fair and square. Unbelievable. Well, that's a good indication of what we've got for the rest of the day. I apologise for the wind, and now the day really begins. So a little whistle-stop tour of the grid. We've got this supercharged Lotus Elise R. We've got the Audi R8 with the large spoiler on the rear. Centurion, of course, along a couple of Bentleys, as BMWs, Porsches, Audi RS6 is a C63S. There's a couple of Nissan GTRs here today and a few Teslas as well. They'll be interesting to see. We've got the Porsche 911 Turbo. We've got the Shelby Mustang. Incredible car, supercharged as well. Another RS6. We have a 600 brake horsepower RS6. A six versus an 800 brake horsepower Shelby Ford Mustang. It's a supercharged beast. So, supercharged with 800 horsepower and rear wheel drive versus turbocharged 600 horsepower and all wheel drive. Mustang did a Mustang. Right, rather interestingly, Continental GC versus Bentayga. The Bentayga's winning. The Bentayga, what? That is Bentayga for the win. It's only a quarter mile drag race. Next up we have the all-wheel drive A45S versus the five litre Mustang, which of course is rear wheel drive and it is a Mustang. So let's see what it does. A45 storms ahead, a little bit of a head start, but keeps that gap alive. That Mustang has been gapped. Next up we have two blue cars. We've got the Nissan GTR R35 versus the BMW M8 Competition. A very close race, both with launch control, both used it. The GTR started behind, but it's got ahead. The GTR for the win. We next have two Audi R8s. We have Coupe versus Spider, both with launch control, but who will use it? Oh, they both got down. That's a very close race. We've got the Spider trailing behind the Coupe. And it's the coupe for the win. Now this has a wild launch control system with flames, so I think we should go around the back. <laughs> Jesus! Through 
losing my soul. Da, the AMG. The AMG one. Okay, next up is the 800 horsepower Shelby Mustang against a very modified Nissan GTR. Well, my money is on the all-wheel drive Nissan GTR, but we'll see. Will the Mustang be able to put all of its power down? No is the answer to that. As soon as he went into the other gear, it just, it did a Mustang essentially. It's manual as well as that. As the next cars line up either side of the petrol hellenism Cayman GT4 wannabe. Oh, what will the Focus RS do? I think that is Focus RS versus C63 and the 63 is slightly ahead. 901 Turbo versus the M8 competition. M8 gets the head start. The turbo flies off ahead. I think the turbo is already in the lead. That is quite some incredible acceleration from the 911 turbo. Now, last time the Mustang struggled to put down the power as soon as he got into second gear, it's uh, snaked away from him a little bit. So we've got the Mustang versus the Model S. So here we go. Manual supercharged 800 horsepower Mustang versus the Tesla Model S. He is a snake indeed. <laughs> he's churning up the grass, he's, he's being a lawnmower now. He's picked up a big bulk of it with him. Uh, Mustang doing Mustang things. You can see the black lines from the start all the way to his um, meeting with the garden. Having a little ticking off. Don't do it again. It's a Mustang, what do you expect? <laughs> Well, 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 that was always going to happen. It's all right, that's why we have a runway with run off. He's eating some grass. Yeah, I'm doing my bit for the community. That fits perfectly, actually. <laughs> Let's hope the AMG keeps in a straight line trying to keep up with the Tesla. Oh, he got a head start. The Tesla might catch up, and he already has. That's incredible. The silent killer. Next we have C63S versus C63S. Will the saloon be the convertible? No launch control was initiated. The convertible gets the head start. The saloon falls behind. That is pretty neck and neck. The saloon, I think the saloon has won. So the 600 brake previous Gen RS6 versus the current Gen RS6. Let's have a look. Well, there we go. That was a surprise. We have the 991 Turbo versus the V12 Vantage. V12 Vantage falls behind twice as many cinders, but not quite enough. The AMG has been beating a lot of cars recently. We've got the 600 LT. 600 LT struggles to put the power down. It's, it's getting it. And the McLaren is ahead. That's the first time I've seen the AMG be beaten today. 600 LT takes the win. Come on, GTR. We can't have the Tesla winning every race today. GTR versus Tesla. Launch control. It's almost neck and neck. The GTR is getting the Tesla. I think the GTR's at him. That is the GTR for the win. Very well done. Charged R8 versus the 600 LT. LT's got launch control on. The R8 gets the head start. That is quick from the two cars, but the R8 has just had him, absolutely. That is the quickest departure. Incredible. There is the GT3 RS6 versus the new Audi RS6. This is going to be an interesting race. Here we go. Incredible sounding car. Didn't get off to a good start, but has caught up with the RS6 and taken him. GT3 RS for the win. Okay, now we have the AMG GT63 versus the Huracan. Very loud. Here we go. The AMG is incredible. Obviously, the Huracan 
Williams won it, but that was the closest race I've seen. Okay, our next race we have the twin turbo Audi R8 versus the Nissan GTR. This will be an interesting one. Who will reign champion? The GTR got the head start, that's probably done him a great favour. The R8 is catching up and the R8 has stormed off ahead. That R8 is quick. Okay, next along we've got the GTR versus the supercharged Huracan Spider. Here we go, launch control. I think the GTR's had him. That is a close one. But the GTR has won. So it is Huracan versus the Tesla Model S, the one that no one wants to lose to. Let's see how this goes. I think the Huracan cheated, but that was insane. Now find me inside a Focus RS and we are going to be racing a BMW M1 4Ci which is somewhere next to us. This has 440 horsepower, we don't know how much the M1 4Ci has. 480. 480, right, so we've got four wheel drive and he hasn't so it'll be an interesting one to see. Here we go, M1 4Ci versus Focus RS. <laughs> RS, which unfortunately we pretty much lost. That is that for the day. So thanks to the Petrol Hedonism Club for organising this event that has been allowed to run due to the fact that we are filming for a TV production. We've got all the documentation to allow us to have this event go ahead and everyone's been distanced from each other enough and wearing the right protection. But I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully I can bring you more from the Petrol Hedonism Clubs later on in the year. I'm sure I will do. But for now, thanks for watching.